So I'm trying to start a movement, and I'm hoping that all of you will join me, and that is becoming a social developer. Now, this has nothing to do with social media. It has to do with meeting people in real life and actually talking to them. The reason why this is important to me is because I spent many years as the loner at the conference. Does that sound familiar to anyone? <laughs> so I, I was lucky because my company believed in sending us to conferences, and so I got to go to a lot of them. But I was shy, I guess would be to put it mildly, and I missed out on kind of the best parts. Because the sessions were awesome, I learned a lot, but there's so much that we can learn from each other that's kind of even more awesome. Well, I don't wanna say even more awesome because I'm a speaker and of course my sessions are awesome, so you should come to them. So here's my eye-opening experience. Again, at conferences, I had a tendency to just kind of fade into the background during the coffee breaks. Let me go hide in the corner and uh, you know, play with my phone because that's a safe activity to do. And lunchtime was terrifying. Because you walk into the big banquet room and you just see all of these tables. And you're kind of like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> you know, I don't want to go sit by myself because that looks a little sad and pathetic. But picking who I want to sit with, <laughs> that's a tough decision for someone in that, in that situation. But then I had this eye-opening experience about five years ago. And it really changed my world. So I was at a code camp in Los Angeles. I live in Southern California. And it was at the University of Southern California, so big, beautiful campus. And at lunchtime, I got my food, and I went out and looked at the quad, big, giant, grassy quad, with developers just kind of scattered individually across the grass. <laughs> nobody sitting next to each other, nobody talking to each other. And you know, quite honestly, that was my first inclination too. I'm like, Okay, I'm more comfortable sitting down, having a quiet lunch with myself. But you know, I saw this scene, just so many developers doing it at the same time, and it, it, was, it was humorous in a way. Because I'm like, I feel like I could like, plot this quad and it would be an even distribution of people across <laughs> the whole thing, right? That's, that's what it felt like. And so I said to myself, I need to do something different. And so I did. I went up and I found someone and I said, do you mind if I join you? Um, the nice thing is most people are polite, so I have yet to have someone turn me down when I ask that question. I sat down, we started a conversation, hi, I'm Jeremy, what do you do, what kind of technologies do you work with? And then an amazing thing happened. One by one, more people came up and joined us. And I've watched this happen several times, and people will go through this progression. They see a conversation and we go up and join it because we want to be social, right? That's, we're humans, we want to be social. And so we'll go up and listen to a conversation for a while. And then once we kind of feel like we've got the feel for the conversation, we might put out an exploratory comment. And then if that's well received, now we become a full part of the conversation. And I've seen this happen over and over again. And that lunch where I sat down, just me and one other person, by the time lunchtime was over, there were two circles of eight people each, all involved in conversation. I wasn't even looking at the guy that I originally sat down with because these circles had formed around us. And that led me to a realization that really did kind of change the way I interact with the developer community. Developers love to talk. They just don't like to start the conversation. And so I took that as a challenge, and it's like, you know what, I'm gonna change my behavior. And so now when I'm at conferences, when I'm at user groups, when I'm at community events, I'll go up and find someone that I don't know, introduce myself, and just kind of see where things go from there. And I've just been amazed at how my world has changed from that. Because as a developer, I can know this much of the technology that's out there. But each time I talk to a new person that's working in a field I'm not working in, I now have a touch point into that world. I can say, what technologies are you using? What works for you? What doesn't work for you? And I can keep these in the back of my mind. And then when a problem comes up, I'm like, oh, I remember. I was talking to Mike about that. I'm going to call him up and see if this is the right solution for what I'm trying to do here. 
And so my world has gotten so much bigger from doing this. So I want to share that with you. And if you want to go to the website to hear more of my stories, you can do that. And I'm also looking for ideas. Because what I want to do is I want us to talk to each other, people we don't know, be comfortable with it, and be welcoming with it. So the website is becomingasocialdeveloper.com. So it's pretty easy to find the URL. And here's my challenge for you this week. We have a lot of time with each other this week. Meet somebody new. Some of you are here by yourself. And again, you might, you might fall into that loner category like I did. And of course, we all have our personal force field, right? <laughs> as soon as we pull this device out, we're invisible to the rest of the world. So at breaks and lunch, yeah, go ahead and check to make sure nothing's on fire, but then put your device away so that it'll welcome conversations from other people. And if you're here with a group of people from your work, break out of that circle. Because I also did go to conferences with groups of people from work as well, and I found myself just talking to the people I already know. And yeah, it's great to get out of the office and talk a little more casually, but we have this opportunity to just meet so many awesome people. There's 1,400 people here this week. There's at least one person that is gonna change your life. <laughs> so my challenge to you is try to find that person. Start the conversation. It is the easiest thing you will do and the most terrifying thing you will ever do. That's, that's, that's honesty, right? Because I, I'm an introvert, by nature I'm shy, but I've managed to change my behavior. And so here's how I work. I find somebody, I say, hi, my name's Jeremy. Usually they'll reply with their name. Again, I rely on the kindness of strangers. <laughs> then I say, you know, what kind of work do you do? What kind of technologies do you work with? And again, developers love to talk. And you would not believe how many times I've seen signs of relief on the people when I walk up to them. They're like, oh, social interaction that I don't have to start. This is really awesome. So I want you to do that for people this week. Go up to somebody you don't know, introduce yourself, start a conversation. I do that as much as possible. In fact, uh, I met a new friend yesterday in the lunch line. John, are you in here, John? <laughs> I'm sure I'll see you again, John. So I talk to people in the lunch line, and then also that makes it easier to find a seat in the, in the banquet room because now you have a new friend that you can go sit with. So that's my challenge to you. Meet someone new, talk to people while you're here, and if you want some more information, again, feel free to go out to becomingasocialdeveloper.com. And then after the keynote, I'll be in the back. So if you want to talk to me some more, I'll be back there. And of course, I'll be around here the rest of the week as well. So thank you very much. And please meet someone new. Thank you very much.